Imagine how terrifying it would be to gradually lose your vision year after year, more and more loss of visual field. So your world becomes smaller and smaller. And you also have the knowledge that at some point you will become severely blind. I had been working for a number of years on a different strategy to try to restore vision to blind patients. One day while I was doing transplant surgery, I made a cut in the retina. I had this epiphany that I was cutting nerve tissue that was still intact in the diseases that I was attempting to treat. So it made much more sense to me to utilize those nerve fibers that are there rather than trying to recreate nerve connections with a transplant. He was thinking, you know, we need some kind of a implant device. So someone told him he should talk to me, and I said, that sounds really like science fiction. I spent about three months trying to think about why it couldn't be done, and I really couldn't find a reason it couldn't be done. So I said, okay, I'll give it a shot. We've been at it for 23 years ever since. We use the kind of fabrication procedures that are used to make computer chips to create ultra-thin and flexible electrode arrays so that we can contact the retina and not damage it. We'll have a little pair of glasses built in the edge of a camera, and the little camera will see the world, and it will drive the coil buried around here. Well, the hard part is turning the camera signal into the appropriate type of pulse that the brain will understand, which it turns back into a visual percept. He's running a test on the latest version of our chip, and it will create pulses on the screen that you can see. The signal that the chip is sending back to our electronics to tell us how things are going up there in the eye. You should be able to see your, your daughter, your grandmother, your, your mother, and I think that's what the patient population is really excited about, having that ability to see their relative or their close one. We hope to have our device finished within this next 12 months. So our hope in the big picture is to be able to improve the quality of life for visually impaired patients by allowing them to be more independent, to do more things, to be able to maintain employment, uh, and just have a better quality of life to provide hope, really.